<clears throat> What's up guys, here's a full yard update. This is uh, December 2nd. Uh, I'm just gonna put this in here and see. Yeah, I don't know what you're looking at, but that's one of uh, my 10 foot tall trackies. It's uh, December 2nd and it's uh, 14 degrees Celsius and sunny. This one here you might not be able to see much. I have this fan in here. I didn't really open this one fully up, so I have blowing some air in there just to get some fresh air. Yeah, there's one of my seed girls watching one of the robots. Here's the window that I planted the other day. Was uh, minus uh, five or minus ten. It's looking good. It's got a bunch of nice fruits. It's liking this weather for sure. It's got some spears. Anyway, it's looking good today. It's the sable palmetto. down here towards the crowd. Can see the spear in there. It's beautiful. So leaf, this is the uh, frost damage from last year. You can see the other leaves though look awesome. Everything right there looks look beautiful. It's getting some sun too. That's what it looks like inside that box. See here. Here's the Washingtonia Robusta. This one right here has been in the box for the longest. It still looks really good. Frowns, all the frowns look good. This one, what I will say though, is that on the top here, I'm gonna get right in here. This on the top here, lots of these fronds are really wet and they're continuously wet. You see right here? So a lot of my uh, palm shelters, when I do them, I do two layers. Uh, on the ceiling, I do one layer here and then one layer underneath it. And the reason why that is, this one here, originally I was doing as a greenhouse, so I didn't do it. I had some like these, I had clear Lexan panels, but now that it's like this, I wasn't really, I wasn't really that concerned, but I definitely need to put a roof. I'm gonna do that today right now. Just another piece of insulation from here, just an inch under it, whatever. And you just run it along here. And then uh, all the condensation, because in here is very warm and out there is very cold. So you'll get condensation. Now with insulation, you don't get as much. Uh, if it's just a tarp, you get a ton. So uh, that's something to watch out for. The more insulation you have, the less chance of you're gonna have a lot of condensation because you're getting the cold, hot and cold mixing. So you, the condensation won't hurt anything, but if it's continuously dripping, making these fronds wet, they're gonna get moldy, they're gonna dry out. They're gonna like, this is already, you probably already starting to see, this is like water damage. So some of these you might lose. This thing grows so fast, doesn't matter. But to save it and because you wouldn't want to get any rot in the crown. Um, what I'm going to do is put a piece across here and then I'm going to maybe bring a dry, hair dryer in here and dry some of the moisture up if I can. Uh, just on the leaves, try to get them all dried off. But it's looking good. It's got fronds in there, everything. I'm sure it'll be fine anyways. It's just got the Christmas lights and the thermal cube. The thermal cube was too low too. That's the other thing. If the temperature is too warm in there, if it's not shutting off, this thermal cube fell to the floor. If it falls on the ground like that, the ground will never get to seven. It'll keep con consistently making it a bit cooler and keep it running too much. So uh, that's another thing to watch out for. So I'll uh, I move that thermal cube up a bit, so that should be shutting off more frequently. Keeps the, the palm a bit cooler. Uh, the top gets way too hot, and the bottom just gets well. The bottom doesn't really matter because but the top gets way too hot when that happens. So, anyways, that's how uh, we are looking today. The grass looks beautiful still. The sun's just starting to go down. It's about four o'clock. But uh, this is the last piece of snow. We had a huge piles here from when we got that little bit of snow. Uh, not huge, but I had every, every, I used all the snow in my whole yard to get piles and put them around it. And it's all gone now. Uh, and uh, it's looking good for the forecast here for Southern Ontario. So uh, anyways, I can show you the little ones up front. They look perfect. Anyways, I got them open too. But uh, show you the front yard. Let me see. Let me show you them quickly. Uh, Here 
There's this one here. Let's see if you like there's a teddy bear. And there's the littler one. They're looking good. This one, the thermal cube, is a little low too. I might have to bump that up a bit. Just get it up, eat it up like right there. So that it, uh, there you go, see so it shuts off. And this is what I was talking about. You see how I got this little piece? Look at all the condensation here. You see, up there, the moisture and water. Right there, I have a piece. Now this piece should be a bit bigger. I might tuck another piece in there because the water will roll off of this and that creates a bit of a buffer. Like if this was gonna to touch something, these fronds are folded over because this palm is a bit too tall for this block. So if they had to touch this, it would rot all of the leaves. Anything that touches the side of the box, will that's gone. And you know, sometimes it can travel into the palm. So you don't want any moisture getting into your palms. So, or like rot. So I gotta put another little piece there. That just any little buffer, you always create a little buffer like that. So uh, I'll show the other one here in the front cast looks great. Here's the other one. Looks beautiful, same as the way I put it away. And there's the other one. Looks beautiful too. This one here has a, a, a has these lights in here, but I didn't have another thermal cube, so I'm just using these ones right now. Those two CFLs, these are very, uh, 14 or 13 watts I think they are they're very low watts I just turn those both on and you leave them on they don't get it too hot I have a temperature sensor on the coldest night it got down to maybe like plus two plus three in here uh, and then on the warmer nights, sometimes you wake up and it's at 10 degrees in here right here so that's not ideal but it'll be okay for now once I uh, get the thermal cube it'll be plugged in and then I'll be using the Christmas lights not this so uh, that's why there's all these extra wires in here right now because I got to take this and all these other ones out but uh, thanks for watching anyways. Uh, bye later.